It is a new look for Southwest Airlines. The Dallas based airline unveiled its new paint job and new logo during a flight above Love Field this morning. Fox 4's Dion Anglin was there as they showed off the changes. All right, so Dion, the right amendment vanishes soon. Uh, the new look, I, I guess, is the first of what comes next for Southwest, huh? Yeah, definitely. I don't know if you call it the hip, cool new Southwest Airlines, but that is what it feels like. It is definitely a party atmosphere here at this hangar. And these revamped aircraft are the guests of honor. A new modern look for Southwest Airlines. And the high tech reveal was just the beginning. With hundreds of the company's employees, we got the first glimpse of the airline's revamped, iconic 737, its new aircraft livery named Hart. We are so bold about the future that we really wanted to have a bold look for the airplane to express that to our customers. Southwest says it'll take about five years to retool and transform its entire fleet, over 600 planes an expense the company says it's planned for by cutting back in some areas, though it's not providing specifics. It's time to do this. It's time to put a modern look on Southwest Airlines because there's so many great things. We're flying international. The right amendment falls in a few weeks. Uh, we have free live TV on board. I mean, it's a great time for the airline, and it's time to showcase that in our look. A flyover gave us a first look at the new heart in action, while almost simultaneously, billboards reflect the new Southwest. SMU economist Mike Davis offers insight from an industry watcher's perspective. They can certainly afford to do it, but I think also Southwest believes that it's worth doing. Uh, they don't want to completely rebrand the airline, they don't want a completely new look, but they do want to send a signal that they're a little bit different now that things are changing. Yeah, this is part one and two uh, behind me here. That media showcase, I don't think the video did it justice. It was quite an impressive ordeal. Talked to a worker who was helped getting things in order this morning. Uh, he said, yeah, took several crews, two 16-hour days to get all of this ready. So latest live here at Love Field. Steve, back to you. Yeah, thank you.